Welcome back to the biography of Fred Griffith on A&E. In the post-World War I era, fear of pneumonia, a secondary infection caused by the Spanish influenza, ran rampant throughout almost the entire world. This particular strain of the flu was able to target young, healthy individuals rather than just the juvenile and elderly. Current estimates state that 50 to 100 million people died during the pandemic, more than were killed in World War I. It was during this pandemic that Frederick Griffith would now face the challenge that would consume him for the rest of his life. In his attempt to develop a vaccine to prevent pneumonia infections, he would uncover a mystery he would never be able to solve. Hello! <laughs> In his famous experiment, Griffith tried to develop his vaccine using two strains of the Streptococcus pneumoniae bacterium, a rough or R strain and a smooth or S strain. The rough strain or R strain was avirulent and did not cause pneumonia when injected into the mice. The smooth strain, or S strain, was virulent and caused pneumonia, killing the mice that Griffith had injected within a day or two. The S strain possessed a capsule, granting it the ability to ward off the host's immune system. However, when the S strain was boiled and the serum then injected into the mice, the disease did not develop. <laughs> when Griffith mixed live R strain with the boiled S strain and injected the serum into the mice, the mice contracted pneumonia. This puzzled Griffith. The strain that had caused pneumonia had been killed, but when mixed with the live R strain, pneumonia then reappeared. What could be the cause of this? Oh my god, he's dead! When Griffith extracted blood from the mice that were injected with the R and dead S serum, he discovered that all of the R bacteria had acquired capsules and had become S. When bred, these bacteria stayed in the S form for many generations. He hypothesized that some sort of transforming principle from the dead S strain converted the live R strain into the S strain. Unfortunately, Griffith would never reach the breakthrough in understanding this transforming principle. In 1941, he was one of the victims of the London Blitz. His contributions to the field, however, would eventually lead to this discovery of DNA. 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 <laughs>